Okay, hi teacher. So in this video, this is our fourth video. We will talk about um, the admin role as an admin role. So is if an admin go to the Showtime page and QR code reader scan QR code uh, transaction customer and also admin page. So let's get into it. So this is our index page. So let's say I want to log in as an admin. Okay. Now I go to this email as an admin and then log in <coughs> okay so this is the page so let's say the customer want to book the ticket uh, I mean the, the admin want to book the ticket but but our system will not allow that so let's say if an admin click on the booking time so he will he won't uh, let the admin to click on it uh, and book the ticket. He will only uh, view the ticket that has been booked. So let's say on the last video, we already booked a ticket on Thursday um, 11 a.m. Right. So so this is uh, uh, the, 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 the seat. So you can't click as an admin and you can view those seats in here. Well, which seat has been purchased? Huh? So let's go back. Okay. Okay. Now we already talked about the the show time page. So let's talk about the QR code reader. So in this QR code reader, um, we have to use the phone to demonstrate how it works. So um, let's connect it using our phone. Okay. So um, on the right side is the signal, I mean is the customer page. Uh, so last in the last video we already purchased, right? So we click on the transaction history and click on the more info. Okay, then we will see the generate uh, QR code. So let me just connect the the phone into my desktop first. Okay. So let's uh, now I already logged in as an admin. So let's click on the QR code reader. Then you need to request camera permission, and then you click on the camera you want to front uh, facing front or back. So I will put on back, and then you click on start scanning. Okay, start scanning, and then scan it right here, uh, and then it will show the message that uh, let's say the the code has been scanned successfully. So let's say you if you scan a second time, uh, it will show the arrow. Uh, uh, message which means that the code has been scanned before so so this is the QR code scanner so so I already scanned my so let's so go to the admin page and click on a scan QR code okay so just now I already scanned so this is my the 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 QR code uh, the what is it called uh, a check-in check-in record uh. so I already check in 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 this time of day and what uh, what are the customer what he want to watch uh. So whatever the code is scanned, we will show in here. Okay. So let's go to let's go to the the slide the notepad. So in this QR code reader, right, uh, it will display this message just now already shown, and also code has been scanned before, and also the another two error, which is invalid code, means that the code was not matched to our database, and also the detected multiple code in database means that let's say if your if our database are uh, got multiple code like maybe got an error in our database it will show and multiple code detected lah. so we use a, a unique id to to verify the qr code okay so the scanner code we have been talk talk just now uh, like this and then let's talk about what are the view transaction so this is our transaction okay this is our transaction so in this transaction you can search uh, let's see let's say i want to search for signal Okay, you'll see it's our signal, um, um, the customer purchase, and he want to watch this video. Uh, okay, and then you can click on view. You cannot edit and delete because this one was transaction. You can only view. So you can view and then you can uh, saw what are the details, what he purchased, but you cannot see the QR code for security reason. Uh, so um, let's go back. So transaction has been talked about. Now let's go to the customer. 
Okay, customer also the same. You can only view, you can sort, sorting, uh, all that. Uh, and then you can search as well. Uh, okay, that's all for the customer page. And then we can also go to the admin. So admin can create admin another admin account. So we can insert uh, uh, an account. Okay, so we also can delete another admin account. Okay, let's click on insert. Let's say I want to insert, um, um, let's say, um, uh, okay, uh, uh, Yiping lah, uh, our team member. Okay, eh, uh, this one is name, oh, show. This one is Yiping and then this one is uh, Yiping gmail.com. Okay, we just click on insert. And then the record will be insert lah. Okay, so that's all for for this video and we will see you in the next video.